Welcome back to Bates Racing guys and today I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We are learning how to change the battery on a 1995 Chevy C4 Corvette. Follow along and you'll be able to do it too. What a beautiful day it is. And as you can tell by my voice, I am quarantining. But that doesn't mean that I can't go for a drive. So let's hop in the Corvette and do that. Let's try that again. That sucks. Hmm. Finally got it started. Hopefully a new battery will solve this issue. Hello Summer. You are going to be my assistant today. All right, tools you're gonna need to do this job. While not 100% necessary, it's sometimes helpful to have a power drill. To be able to get the side panel off to expose the battery, you're going to need these three tools. Eighth millimeter Allen key, or a Torx that will fit these bolts. Unfortunately, I do not have the size of that Torx, but the Allen key did the job just fine. A 10 millimeter wrench to slide in between the panel and a 10 millimeter socket. To get the part off that holds the battery in place, the brace in other words, you will need an extension that is at least the height of the battery, preferably a little longer, and a 13 millimeter socket. Last but not least, you will need a eight millimeter wrench to get the battery terminals off. With this assortment of tools, you should be able to do the job without any trouble at all. All right, so to get to the battery, as with any car, you have to pop the hood. The problem is you can't get to the battery under the hood. The battery is underneath all this stuff. If step number one is open the hood, step number two is to turn your wheel to the left, specifically, to clear these three bolts here. Why did you lock? first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get these three bolts off and the other bolts to get this off. Using the Allen. Next we want to use the 10 millimeter socket to remove this bolt here. I had to do a voiceover because I didn't like what I was saying here. So enjoy. Something to note here is the placement of this. Now you see it has slider adjustments. That's because it has to line up with the door. When we go to put this back on, I gotta make sure to line this up very carefully. So in here is the bolt that we need to unscrew. It is also a 10 millimeter, and you simply wanna loosen it. You don't wanna totally take it out, because if you totally take it out, it will be nearly impossible to get back in. You wanna just loosen it enough to be able to slide this panel off. Let me set you down. That should be good. And there's the panel. Now this is an important piece. Don't wanna lose this. This is how I screw in the bolt for the top. Now once we have this panel off, we want to set it aside somewhere where it's not going to get bumped or kicked or scratched or oh my god, this is dirty. To disconnect your battery, you want to use a 8mm wrench. Now when you are working with anything uh, electrical related on a car, you want to disconnect the negative side of the battery first. Now I also have to be very careful not to ground anything here, in which case could be any part of me or any part of this cable. So now that that's disconnected, 
And I'm slightly concerned by these, what look like droplets. There we go. All right, now that we have the battery disconnected, we can undo this mount that is on this side. So you're definitely gonna want to have an extension for this. All right, that should do it. And pull this out of the way. And let's get this out. Now, it's probably not a bad idea to take a wet washcloth and wipe some of this down because honestly, some of it looks like a little bit of acid spillage. So, let me do that real quick. All right, that should be dry enough. So let's take care of this. Got the terminals exposed. Going to put it in now. Trying to move this and this at the same time is a little tricky. All right. Slide that on in. Ah. That one positive post on the other side made it a little difficult, but it's in. Very good. And then we just reverse the steps. Get you back where you belong. What I'm going to do, once I hook up all the wiring, I will start up the car and make sure it works. Bug bites. Whoops. That's no good. It's secure though. That was a 13 millimeter socket. Now, with our eight millimeter socket, we do the opposite of what we did before. We wear gloves, get that all lined up. And then, very, very carefully, <laughs> get everything lined up for the negative line as well. Now that that's nice and snug, I can get the car started and test everything out. There she goes! Now, let's go ahead and get the panels back on and go ahead and do it while the car's running so it's charging up the battery at the same time. Now, assuming that the alternator is also working properly, this car should charge up and be back to normal in no time. In the meantime, though, we gotta do our best to put everything back the way it was. So, my recommendation for this is to do these three bolts first while the wheel's still turned, and then you can worry about tightening this down and aligning it with the door panel. Again, because of the flexible nature of all this, you want to just snug everything. You don't really want to over tighten anything. And I'm also purposely leaving it slightly loose so that I can still move everything around, but it's secure. So I'm not, I'm doing only finger tight instead of hand tight. Now that I have everything test fitted, I'm gonna open the door and see that everything clears. All right.
right, looks good. So, now I'm going to tighten it down. Making sure nothing moves while I do it. Very snug. Using 10 millimeter wrench. Tighten this down as well. That should be nice and snug now. Yep. There we go. Finish tightening these. And that is how you change the battery on a C4 Corvette. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. That's all I got for you today. Go ahead and check out the vlog that I did on this and some of the other projects that I was doing at the same time as this. By same time, I mean same weekend. Whatever. Ran out of sunlight. So, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a great day.